Hi guys, well, we are just on our way to the Woolpack. We've just stopped off for a pit stop at the old co-op in God Manchester, if you know it around this way. We've got ourselves a biscuit in a week. And I'm looking forward to getting down to Woolpack and see if we can bag one of them gnarly carp out of there. Uh, which haven't been serving me too well recently. I haven't been doing that too well. So, yeah, we've got our stuff. Let's get on to the uh, Woolpack and I'll see you at the lake. Hi right, guys, welcome to another video. And welcome to another Woolpack video. Now, this is the next in the series of Woolpack vlogs where I'm fishing lake uh, five and six. And we just turned up and have a look at the car park. It's a Saturday, it's a bit dark, a bit light actually. I'm going to darken it down. Look, it's quite busy. Quite busy for a Saturday. Well, it's going to be, isn't it? It's, um, it's a Saturday. There's loads of people here. So what we're going to do is we're going to unload the gear. We're going to push it down to lakes five and six, and then go and have a good old look to see if we can find some fish and settle on them for the next couple of nights. So guys, welcome to the vlog. Here we are, that's the path. There's all the kit on the barra. And we are about to kind of have a good look. We're gonna leave the barra there and we're gonna go and have a look around the lake to see if we can see any fish. Bright sunshine, about 18, 19 degrees. There's gotta be something somewhere. I think the lake's pretty busy, so I think for tonight, the first night, I'm just going to have to slip in somewhere. But let's go and do a lap. Let's go and have a look and see what's what. See if we can find some fish to set up on. See if we can catch one tonight. Speak to you soon, guys. Right, I'm out of breath. I've had a good look round. Lake's really, really busy. And this is one of the only swims that's free. I haven't seen anything in here, but opposite, let me show you. Opposite over there, you probably actually might be able to see if you've got a good, good look but there's the odd fish milling around and there's a gap at the end of the island there and the fish can come through. They can come through this side. I haven't seen anything this side. Oh, I'm out of breath. You get a good view of the whole lake. So I can sit up in the morning to see if anything moves and then move tomorrow. But there's fish near to the swim. So we're gonna go in here because really there's no other swims free at the moment. The lake is fairly busy for a Saturday. What do you expect? It's, it's gonna be a busy, busy, especially May, like we're now, we're right into May. It's, um, it's, you know, it's one of them. Best time when, you know, it's big carp time, isn't it? Plenty of people about. Plenty of fish to be caught. So I'm gonna come in here anyway. Let's unload the kit. We've got, bloody hell, hour and a half till dark hour and a half till dark. So I've got to um, step on it a little bit really. Find a couple of spots, try not to make very much much um, noise. Settle in for the night, because we've got tomorrow. We can track them down properly tomorrow. Left it a bit late today, to be fair, but it's one of them things, isn't it? It's just the way it is. Busy at home, busy with kids and Mrs. B and everything like that. We got to, got here when we could. Like most of you guys, we just go fishing when we can. Right, I'm going to unload the barra. I'm going to get the rods out, find some light looking spots, settle in for the evening. See you in a while, guys. Absolutely worn out. I'm sweating like crazy. It's about 20 degrees tonight. Oh, let's put those back in. I've got my waders on. Look, just put the last rod out. I stuck it round to the left. See where the swan is, more or less. He's up there, isn't he? Look, he's up there, not far away from the bait. I'm in slightly deeper water. Up the